Hey everybody, welcome to module six, creating and generating. So the first week is online. That's uh, April 18th, today through the 24th. And in this week, I'm gonna have you look at part one, which is on literacy and coding. You're gonna read and reflect on some uh, videos and some um, articles. And then I'm going to have you post your ideas to uh, the a back channel, and I'll show you what that looks like. You're going to do an hour of code, and there are two reflective journals in part one. So let's get started. All right, so I'm going to close this so we have some more room. So in part one, um, it's really looking at kind of the new, one of the new literacies. So we've been talking about different forms of literacy throughout the semester, and this one is about coding. So what does coding provide as a new literacy today? So start by looking at um, one of the ISTE standards. This one is on creativity and um, innovation. So read over that and reflect on that. Then I want to want you to watch a couple of short videos here on coding and um, think about what that means in terms of uh, literacy. So think back on all the stuff we talked about and you know how does coding and literacy work together. Then this is where I want you to read these two articles and make sure that um, you watch any of the embedded videos that are part of that as well. And then here's your assignment. So as you read through the articles, I want you to post your thoughts on this back channel site right here. So if you click on this link, it will open up. I'm gonna pop back over to the class for a second. And what I want you to do is while you're reading, I want you to post at least five ideas that you've had um, by April 24th. Okay, so also note <clears throat> that both sections of CSLS 110 um, are going to be using this back channel. So you may see other people's names that you um, haven't seen before, but that's going to be kind of fun um, since uh, we can get everybody's ideas together. So you can access the back channel like I showed you here by clicking on this link. Or if you're on a tablet or a, another device, or if you have a smartphone QR code reader, you can just scan this QR code. So here's the back channel. And what I want you to do is in this place where it says nickname, I want you to put your first initial and your last name. Okay. So this way I know um, who you are and I can give you credit. I do have a few students all with the same first name, so just doing first name is not going to work. And then all you do is click join. And notice that you have 140 characters to, from which to work. So this is like actually posting to Twitter, only you're posting to this back channel. A back channel is a place where People can post thoughts, ideas, questions during an event or over time, and it's kind of like a discussion board, but it's a, a little bit more free flow. So you would um, post some ideas or thoughts as you're reading, and remember you only have 140 characters, so you've got to be able to pull your ideas together into a concise um, thought that that is complete and then as soon as you're ready to post it you just click say you can come in and out of this at any time so um you but try not to just go in and do all your five questions at one time you know think about it look at what other people are writing you can respond to them as well but i want you to at least have five of your own original thoughts all right so after reading and looking at that stuff, I want to hear some additional information on coding and literacy. So if you feel um, uh, like you want to learn more, which I would really encourage you to do, 
um, you can explore some of these, but I would, um, you need to look at this one, the Teaching Kids to Code article, and just browse through that and see what they have in there about coding. All right, now comes the play part. So uh, I want you to start by watching this video, and then I want you to go to the Hour of Code site and explore some of the resources. And then here you have a reflective journal entry on all the stuff that you've been looking at about coding and literacy and 21st century learning. And that's due when journals are due as normal. Now comes activity. So here is the Hour of Code um, site or code.org. And what I want you to do is you're going to go to Code Studio. You're going to sign up if you don't already have an account. And I want you to sign up as a teacher. And I want you to spend some time um, in one or more of the following coding games. So they have Star Wars, Minecraft. They do have Frozen. If you want to explore that one, that one's fine. But um, I had some students last year or last semester do Frozen and they said it was not that much fun so I don't know you can play with it if you want um, there's also courses in here that you can take so this one is for early grades age four to six it's pretty cool because it helps teach students how to use the mouse and different skills like that so spend some time playing so all you do is click on studio and you would sign up here as a teacher and to get to any one of these courses, you just click on them. And you can either do, some of them have both blocks and JavaScript. If you're new to all this stuff, I would definitely use the blocks. But if you've done a lot of this before, or if you want to challenge yourself, go ahead and do the JavaScript. So I want you to play in there for at least an hour. So hour of code. Okay, and then after you're done, you have a reflective journal post. So again, um, do when journals are due, but I want you to think about and tell me what games you played or which code brought the things you did. Why did you choose those? What did you learn? Did you have any fun? And were you surprised at what you were able to do? Why or why not? So that's it for uh, Module 6, Part 1, and I will see you in class next Monday. Bye.